Hey everybody, Shaman Hawk here for Shamanic Lodge. You know, with the next couple of days, um, and maybe even longer depending how things transpire, I'm going to be doing more videos to help explain some of the things happening behind the scenes. And hopefully this will help people understand what's happening to them. The people that are a little bit more sensitive, a little more empathic, more in tune. Uh, people often feel these things and they'll write me and... They say, I've been feeling these things. I've been getting these kind of dreams. You know, what's going on? You know, and I ask their location. And sometimes I can say, well, these things happen close to you. And that could be because of dot, dot, dot. So this time I'm going to do a little bit uh, differently and go ahead and give the updates. And then people can go ahead and make the assessments for themselves. So it saves me a lot of time. That's for sure. Pardon the background noises. The farm is waking up, you know, and you're going to hear all kinds of noises. So, oh, um, you know, the power that's used by what people like to call our handlers, cabal, whatever, that same power is available to everyone. Now, these powers, you know, these types of energies, they're in different levels, different frequencies, different amplitudes. It's like electricity. You know, some of them can be uh, reversed, like a... A rectifier can turn AC current into DC current and vice versa. You have different types of electricities <clears throat> that can be used even for therapy on humans. You know, galvanic current's another one. Well, there's different types of energy waves and amplitudes, frequencies, so on, and operating capacities, um, different types of conductors for that, mainly people and animate, mostly animate objects. And the people can mutate a lot of these energies by intentions and thoughts and other forms of manipulation, geomancy, alchemy. But they're available to everyone. And the more you get clear in your own personal energies and more into your personal truth, the more you can work these energies. And a lot of it just by thought and simple desire. And for some reason, people just don't want to believe that. It just amazes me. They like to talk about how all these other groups and organizations are doing all this evil in the world. They can do this. Well, yeah, but so can you. You don't. You may not want to participate or conduct or organize the same kind of ceremonies or practices that these other people do for good cause. And I mean, I wouldn't want to participate in some of the things they do either. But no matter how evil or horrible we think some of the ceremonies that they do are we have to face the truth that they do them because it works okay that's why they do it that's why a very very tiny percent of the world's population can control the masses energetically so easily they're willing to do the most extreme forms of energy work uh, ceremonies if you want to call it that to achieve their goals other people have ethics and morals and so on, and we don't want to do those kind of things. But we have the masses, you see? So it could take a small percentage of the world's population to go that extreme to get what they want to manifest. But just a little bit higher of a, of a number of the masses and people, a everyday person just wanting things to happen in a good way, that can overpower their energies. And this is why they focus so hard on keeping everybody distracted, keeping everybody on this low uh, mentality. I want, don't want to say low frequency because that's a misuse of that word in this application. If they keep everybody in that low, uh, depressed, you know, inactive state of mind and personal action, yeah, they can do whatever they want. Here, you know, recently, a couple of days ago, I did a video of a fire a healing fire for uh, Alexander, a boy in Russia. And his mother said he was been sick a while, you know, and we'll watch the video. But the point of it is, you don't see me at that fire with any magic wand. You don't see me there with any crystals, no drum, no blah, blah, yeah, yeah, hey, hey, shit, right? It's just me. That's not because I'm this super being, okay? It's because I'm allowing myself. I went through a process of clearing and refinement of myself and my core and my personal truths 
to allow myself to be able to work with these energies without all the props, with all that, all the bells and whistles and new agey shamanic tools. You know, when I show up to lectures and shop, uh, workshops, people are expecting somebody to, to walk through the door. It's got all these crystal beads and animal body parts and necklaces hanging off of them. I show up in like jeans, t-shirt, work boots. And from one of my jokes, I like to just sit down in the audience, you know, until like the promoter or the host comes up, if I'm a guest speaker or something. They're like, what are you doing there? You know, because you don't, the, the point of it is you don't need all that stuff. It's nice to have these things when I'm training people for tools. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll have them use the crystal. So they learn the power of that. They learn that energy uh, flow and circuitry. But at the end of the apprenticeship, the end of the workshop, they shouldn't need anything other than just themselves. And this is another thing that's just so simple that people just don't want to understand. They don't want to accept this truth. Regardless, it's still the truth and it still works and that's that. People, to keep this really simple, I want you to look at the animals. And this is a big thing. that It was a big revelation for me back when I was about 40 years old, 24 years ago. You know, I looked and like, wow, there's just so much to learn. I've been doing this my whole life and I've just been studying and learning and learning. It's just like, how can I learn everything? And then I was just looking at some uh, some deer. And I'm like, I don't. I don't have to learn all this stuff. If anything, I have to learn a process of unlearning and clearing. And that became the real center of my work from then for the last, you know, 24 years. And I developed a great system for it. But getting people to get past their programming is so difficult in my mind when they put up the wall of resistance. If they don't resist the process, they go through some uncomfortable shifts and changes personally, mentally, spiritually, as they're peeling off these layers, they get kind of, their spirit gets kind of like raw. You know, if you get a blister and you take the top off, now it hurts, but you need to go ahead and drain that now, take care of it so it doesn't become infected. Well, the same thing happens with people. That when their truth is coming up to the surface and their programming keeps pushing it down it's this aggressive action that's fighting programming against personal truth and that's when people are really coming into their awakening whether it's a full shamanic awakening or it's just a personal shift of truth and desires you know and usually people in their 30s go through the first one because that's a hard time especially for men you know it's a hard time Young, young men trying to support families and doing starting careers, young women in their 30s, raising those families, trying to be the housewife, trying to fit into society and do all these things. It, that's a hard period of time for people. And that's usually when the, their inner truth comes up. I'm like, wait, this is not right. This, is, this doesn't make sense. You're not supposed to be working yourself to death for the rest of your life. No, you're not. Life's just not like that. It doesn't have to be like that. But there's that element of people that have always wanted to control everybody else's business. And now, these days, they're making an extra effort at it. Why at this particular time? It's because the earth and humanity is going through another shift of a series of shifts. That's gonna, that could take us to a very, very strong place of heightened um, consciousness. And so that's what most of the shamans, real ones, you know, are working towards, helping people get to that place. A lot of people will get the calling and get the visions and so on and try to make it, but they won't. And that's just that, you know, for a lot of reasons. It's all of a sudden you're, you're taking people from the playground and they're wanting to be in the, in the Olympics of the metaphysical world and it just doesn't work. They don't make it past the tryouts. A lot of people think that because they get a calling, the visions and pictures and all that, that they're they're qualified to be able to be at that level and know all, know all the information. Yeah, kind of, if you're willing to put in the work. If you're applying for a high-level job and you have the education and the training behind that, that's great. You could be hired, but you may not stay there long if you don't put forth the effort required. And the same thing works in this. And that power just keeps moving from place to place until it finds that home. And I'm going to talk about the shamanic flow for it. Listen to this. 
that shamanic flow is mutable and versatile. Uh, it travels around interdimensionally and on the physical plane. It can be communicated with. You can, when you get that calling, you can say what you need to make those pictures come true. But if you go off that path, you know, it just drops you off at the nearest stop. And that's that. Again, you don't need all the props. All this power is available to you just because you want to experience it. Now, you should go through some proper training to use that. You should go through some proper training to be able to deprogram yourself and the realization of what you need to deprogram. Um, you can write me, shamaniclawsgmail.com. You know, go ahead and I do a lot of conference calls with people, especially these days, uh, video chats and so on, just to help them, you know, shake the cage a little bit and see where they can go. And I give them exercises to work on you know, that are pretty simple to do. Uh, but hang in there, people. These are some great. I know that the world picture, when you look at the news, it looks really bad, but it's supposed to look bad by design. The other side is there's some really great things happening. And I say behind the scenes is because you're not given the opportunity to see or even hear about what's happening. More people here, because especially because of what happened last night, go see my other video about goddess cycles. There's been lots of shifts that happened last night. And in a couple of days we have new moon and there's gonna be even more. Okay. If you know somebody that could use the information that I'm sharing with this one and that Goddess Cycle one, share, like, subscribe, and um, and share the video with someone you know is going through these changes. Big shifts in the northern latitudes, people. I mean, from, I want to say from 40 degrees up. You know, each one, well, study basic navigation. You're gonna, you understand, You can understand basically the width of a degree. But then when you get a band of them, like from 40 to 45 plus is going to be <clears throat> a little bit north and a little bit south of the effects of that. That's a wide band when you start looking at mileage and that going across the globe. Then you put in Coriolis force, you put in the, the magnetic earth magnetic flow south. It has huge effects. And at, because of the turn of the earth, things that can happen at one specific longitude can be affecting everything starting to go west okay just simple not even sacred geometry people just simple um, if you have any questions write them in comments and so on or if you have anything personal questions like I said write me shamaniclawsgmail.com and I will get back to you till then peace love white light